Yo guys, what is up with this Nick? We are back on Quantum Break. We are going to be continuing into the new choice and the live show, so let's hop into it. Obviously, we'll have to quit out before the live action show, because... Uh, this audio. thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Morton? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Uh, uh. Easy, you're all... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? I think it's already gotten uh, a little out of hand. Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I think I'm going to trust Hatch because he's here. <laughs> I want him apprehended. Immediately. Sir, I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before, she knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. All right, Amaral. Let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. But she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. And then she took them away. If she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Hatch. You're right. We need to stick to the original plan. Whether Sophia's date is good or not, we can't deviate from that. Clearly, we have been compromised. Put a team together. Find out who she's been working with. Actually, I've already got something on that front. They just pulled this from the security feed. My god, it's her. Who? Her, Martin. She's one of our employees. How the hell? We got too big for you to screen everybody personally. And we didn't have an idea on her until now. Beth Wilder. She's one of our operatives. We've already got a kill team after, but... We won't be able to kill her. Not yet. How can she be working with Jack? How does she even know him? I told you, Paul, we can't trust our own people. Who knows how deep this goes? Find out.
Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name, but she had been there in the past. When it all started, She'd been here the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. Okay, 50-50% on friends. Well, I've only had one friend, so... Play, the, play this game so far, so... Or play this junction. The community, only 37% agreed with me to side with Hatch. Uh... I don't think it really matters what the community and I agree on, but let's go ahead and continue, and we'll quit out real quick once we get into this. Pump up the the uh, the audio. So we'll skip that. Skip that. So now, at the end of episode three, we'll go ahead and head to the main menu here in a second. Should give me the option pretty quick here. Uh, we'll bump up the audio, and we'll get into the live action shows that I love. Come on. Give me the option to go back to the main menu. You know you want to. Because the continue staggered to the right for the simple purpose of the menu popping up so I can return to the menu. Come on. You can do it. Come on, Quantum Break. Pop it up. Why is it taking so long? I feel like it didn't take this long last time I did this. Do I need to continue and then quit out? I guess I'll just continue and quit out. I don't want to... Hold on. I don't know why that didn't pop up. We'll just do it like this. I'll just quit out of the game like that. And then we'll pop in. I guess that's how we'll, we will choose to do this. Now the game's taking forever to... Come on. Come on, Quantum Break. We can do this. There we go. By the time I get done playing a video game anymore, I know like every company that worked on the game. Though these are some popular companies that work on games, but I, I'm like, you see this like a million times by the time you're done playing a game. Okay, back at the main menu. Go ahead and turn the audio up here. Sound effects audio up. Timeline. Let's see, here we go. Deception. Alright, let's go ahead and hop on into this. I'm excited. I love these things. The treatments, they're losing their effectiveness. There's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. And no matter what I do, time ends. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're they're increasing in frequency. What is that? Chrono disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! That little shit, Charlie. I want Liam to kick his ass. Why is the content buffering? I know it's, like, stream to your console, that's what they do with this, but... My internet should be good. What the hell? Come on! You can do it! Play the episode. What is going on? Come on! 
Hold on, let me... Let me check my connection. Why is it doing this? Let's try it now. There we go. I don't know why. That was weird. Oh well. It's playing, no harm, no foul, I guess. Well, the little shit was smart. Took his coat off and hid it underneath his coat. And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel. So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Serene's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value in his own people, too consumed with the grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion of this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But should be feared, not worshipped. Yet people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Sewin. That's a weird so, comparison. What's so scary about God? isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. This dude is just a gullible idiot. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation it can only be done from the inside. Put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it.
Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stutters is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. How long? We've been running Dr. Amaral's simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. I hope William is in here waiting for him. Charlie. Fiona. Hey, bud. Where are you going? You're right. Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is that is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is it's pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, then I can get us on the list. All of this us. This entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. Hey, all right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! Tired as shit. I don't know why you're doing this. But I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she is the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. <laughs> Lead the way. Okay, so who's going to be waiting down here for them? Or what is going to be waiting down here for them? out, Mr. Hatch.
Back, run! I'm Hatch's guy. One guy. Yeah. Where's she? She's Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now. Yeah. Gibson, take out Bird. Fiona. Fiona. You gotta listen. Hey. Ah. Oh, shit, you killed him. Fuck. Hey. I didn't know that they were gonna kill him. What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me. This isn't me. about you, Charlie. Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here. No, you're gonna need me. I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Why don't you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. A nurse, huh? I'll see you there. Burke. You fuck. Holy shit! I knew he wasn't dead, but holy shit. <laughs> uh, 
That was too high for his heart. I knew he wasn't. He couldn't be dead. It's like mid shoulder. Was that really necessary? You slit the poor man's throat. Let it go. Save your bullets that... Because this is not real life, you have an unlimited amount of. Davis and his team. They were all good men. Monarch's finest. What about my treatments? I'm afraid so. You know what this means. You don't know for sure. I'm a dead man! Jack. He wants me to become you. He wants me to suffer. Until the end. Joyce and Wilder. But what was troubling me is who got them in the Kim's lab. She paid a visit while she was thought to be missing. She knew where your treatments were kept. She knew the complexities of your illness. And she knew you'd never make it without those treatments. She created them. And then she took them away. I need her found now. And what would you like done with her? I'll decide that when she's brought to me. Very smart, Hatch. Very, very smart. you could make it. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? Barely walk, all of a sudden he's able to. We're just able to fight and kick this this dude's ass. How do you whip like that? Out of hand. Oh, and then they were in the submission. Oh, that's about that's about GG for this guy. Well, good night. Someone 
one want to, you know, take the patch him up here? Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys, Emily. Get away from me. Get Emily, away. listen. No. Listen, no. please. Please, please. Yes. This is not who I am. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt good doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful. And they put me to work. And I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. And so, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't at school. And I told myself every night to ask you about it. It took me a fucking year. Emily, if Mom, I could, if they gave me structure, you gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us. Our family. I did this to protect our family. And I'm waiting up to listen to me. Something terrible is coming. And I will explain to you on the way that we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me. If you will just let me. Protect you. On my side. Please. Please. This is me. It's me. It's me. Okay. We have to go. We have to go right now. Okay. What did she want him to do? The, the guy pulled a gun at him. He was going to shoot him. I don't really get what you wanted him to do there. Just, ta just take it? Just get shot and killed? That's all. <laughs> I don't get it, dude. Yeah, it's Pierce. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. Well, Hatch, you didn't really think your plan through exactly, because people live through your dumb explosion. It was a good plan, but you should have made a bigger explosion here. Ah! Uh, oh, God. The controller disconnected. That's the end, I'm pretty sure. Because I'm pretty sure my controller's been disconnected. My controller's on, I hit a button. Yep, that's it. Oh, they always leave you with a freaking cliffhanger. Oh, God. Now we're going to move on to uh, Act 4, Part 1, Port Donnelly Bridge. Oh, those live actions are so good. I love them so much. Oh boy, this is getting really good. I'm really enjoying this. It's been it's been a heck of a game so far. Um, I'm definitely gonna play this through again and make different choices. I just I gotta see I gotta see what happens if I make different choices. Like what if I choose Amro all over Hatch there? Oh my gosh, the endless the endless uh, opportunities. It's it's oh gosh, this is so good. I love this game, but I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Uh, drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys in the next part. The Act 4 Part 1 will be kicking off uh, the next act. So, I'll see you guys then. Peace out.